Satnam, welcome. Today we finish off our week of connecting to the physical body. And today we're going to explore the body in a slightly different way. There's a beautiful quote from Martha Graham and she says, the body is a sacred garment. It's your first and last garment. It is what you enter life in and what you depart life with. And it should be treated with honor. So if we think as, of the body as a garment, what is it covering? When we wear clothes, we're covering the body. What is the body holding within it? It's holding within it our souls. It's holding within it the essence of our beings. And so when we think of the body as a garment, it almost becomes a suit of armor in many ways. And we can use the body in two ways. We can use the body to express our inner selves, our inner souls, the essence of who we are, or we can use the body to hide our souls, to hide our inner beings. So we have to think about this very carefully. What am I doing with this body? How am I using it? Am I using my body to express my true nature? Is my body a reflection of what's happening within me? Or is my body a reflection of what other people expect of me, of standards that I hold myself to based on the society that I live in, or what my husband or my mother or my daughter thinks that I should be doing? So when we express the body in this way, we start to feel it so differently. When we dress, whatever clothes we wear are an expression of who we are. So even if you're the kind of person that just chucks on a pair of tracksuit pants and a holy t-shirt and says, oh, I don't care about clothes, you're making a very clear statement that I don't care about the outer adornments, that it's who I am. So no matter what you wear, whether you're wearing beautiful designer clothing or some, you know, a trash bag, you're making a statement. You're sending a message out into the world. And our bodies are the, exactly the same. How we use our bodies, what we do with them, are we nourishing them with beautiful, healing, pranic food in a way that says, I care so much about what's within that I'm looking after what's outside in order to, to hold that sacred. If we don't exercise or move, it becomes an expression of how we feel about what we're holding within. So today as we practice, we're going to again just move into that space of the body as more than just this meat suit that we fight with constantly and see the body more as a beautiful expression of our inner selves, of our souls, of our true nature. So let's lengthen, tuck the tailbone under, soften the shoulders. Draw the neck in line with the spine. Chin very gently tucked in towards the throat. So not all the way down, all the way back, just very lightly tucked in. And what we're doing now is we're creating a beautiful, long, open channel through the spine. We've spoken about this before. The spine is like a hose pipe and the energy flows through the spine. So when our posture is poor, if our neck is forward or we're slouching, it creates a bend in that hose pipe and very much the same as if we were to fold over the hose pipe in the garden, the water would be trapped and we wouldn't be able to nourish our gardens. But when we lengthen the spine and we create this beautiful flow of energy, we're nourishing our body. So feel that now, feel your posture it's a beautiful expression of how connected you are to the inner part of who you are. And bring your hands together. Come to your heart center. Take a long, deep inhalation. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale.
exhale and let's inhale to begin Had grain a man, you got grain a man, sat grain a man, city, good a day, vain a man. Had grain a man, you got grain a man, sat grain a man, city, good a day, vain a man. Deep breath in and exhale. Release hands to your knees. And let's start with spinal flexors. Inhaling up, exhaling down. These very simple, very familiar movements, keeping your neck in line with your spine. Face is soft and relaxed. And as you move through this warm up, it's so familiar to us. We don't really need to think about what we're doing. So really try and take your awareness into the experience of your body. The familiarity of the movement just allows you to go deeply into the experience of being present in your body. Come to center and move to a Sufi grind. Let your body lead you. See where it goes today. Trust your body. and change direction. And back to center, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale as you roll back and exhale across your chest. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Allowing your awareness to stay within, moving quickly or slowly, trusting that your body knows exactly what you need. Change direction. Stay with your breath. And coming back to center. Hands on your shoulders, fingers forward, thumbs backwards, elbows elevated. Inhale, lift, exhale, right. Keep 
get into a lovely rhythm. Almost as if your body is swinging on its own. It's an effortless movement. Beautiful. And come to center, beautiful long deep breath in. And exhale, relax. You can open out your legs, taking them as wide apart as you can get them. Deep breath in at the center. And exhale, reach your chin towards your toes. Inhaling as you come up and exhaling down. Each exhale, bringing your chest just a tiny bit closer towards your leg. Nice, strong breathing. One of the simplest ways to connect to your body is through your breath. Beautiful. Inhale up, exhale down. That's it, keep going. And come up to center, turn to face your right leg and exhale, relax down, deeply relax. And soften, surrender. Keep using your exhale. Inhale up, turn to the left. Exhale down, deeply relax. Deeply relax. And then come across to center, relax here at the center. Soften and surrender, let your chest fall down, let your head and neck relax completely. And stay with your breath. And gently curling up. Bring your right hand to your left knee, lift up and exhale as you twist round. Inhale up and exhale round. Inhale up and exhale round. Staying active and engaged in this twist. And change sides. Left hand to right knee, lift up as you inhale, and exhale, twisting round. Inhale up, and exhale round. Beautifully connected. And coming back to center and then come to Sukhasana. So we're going to start off today's Kriya with some breath work. And I've been doing some beautiful breath work training with a really fantastic teacher that BJ actually introduced me to. Thanks for that, Beach. And one of the practices that he does that has been so transformative for me over the past few weeks is the 44 breath practice. It's a very simple practice that we'll do three rounds of today, but it's also a practice that I invite you to practice on your own. It 
It's a really beautiful transitional practice. So if you were about to start a meditation on your own, it would be useful to do this breath before you go into your meditation. Um, if you, he suggests if you've been at work and you're about to go into your home, maybe you want to do this transitional breath to move from one activity into the next. And I found it really, really powerful. So I hope you enjoy it too. Through the process of this breath, we're going to be working with three different um, brain frequencies. So we're going to start off in the theta state. The theta state is basically the hypnotic state. It's our learning state, our intuitive state, the state of memory. Theta is where children are until the age of seven. They're in that hypnotic state. That's why we say children are like sponges until that age, because they very easily learn at that in that state. We then move on into an alpha frequency. Alpha frequency is where we're calm. It's where we're in the now. It's a, an alert, integrated state. And then we move into beta. And beta is our waking consciousness. It's where we're very alert, we're very attentive, engaged, and in a problem-solving state. So we move through these through frequencies. And then we finish with an inhale, which we hold, and an exhale out, which we hold. The, the breath looks like this. We'll do seven long, slow breaths. We'll then do seven plus seven medium breaths. And then we do seven plus seven plus seven, three times of a fast breath. So I'm just gonna do one demonstration and then we can do it together. We start off with the slow breaths. Moving on to two sets of medium breaths. And three sets of fast breaths. Inhale, hold the breath in, and we'll hold for about 30 seconds or as close as you can get, and then exhale all the breath out and hold the breath out for again around 30 seconds or as long as you can. I, immediately you feel an altered state of being. You go into an altered state of consciousness. I can feel tingling in my body. So it's a very simple a very powerful breath. We're going to do three rounds. So it's seven slow, seven plus seven, medium, seven, 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 fast. And let's come to a beautiful, comfortable posture. Remember that spine, allowing the energy to flow all the way up, all the way down. When we do the slow breaths, remember that it's a connected breath. So there's no pause between the inhale and the exhale. It's just straight from one into the other. And let's begin. breath in. Hold the breath in. Squeeze more bun. Lift the pelvic floor. Lift the anal muscles as you keep the breath in. 
drawing in prana and healing energy and holding in the attentions for what you would like to bring into your life. Exhale all the way out and hold the breath out. Holding the breath out, we call it the breath of death as we release and let go of all that no longer serves. It can be a little bit hard, more difficult to hold the breath out. So if you need to inhale, do so. Second round, inhale. the breath in, squeeze more bind, lifting the pelvic floor and the anal muscles as you keep the breath in. Drawing in consciously that which you wish to expand in your life. Exhale all the way out. Hold the breath out. Letting go, releasing. And final round. Breath in, squeeze more bund, circulate the energy. Keep the shoulders soft. And exhale all the way out. Hold the breath out. Letting go and releasing. Consciously holding the breath out for just a few more seconds. And breathing normally. Feel your entire body softening. Notice the atmosphere change around your body. Feel this deep connection to the sacred garment housing your soul, the essence of your being. 
It is the first garment you wear and the last garment you wear. It is all you come into life with and it is all you depart life with. And you get to choose what you do with it. How you wear the sacred garment. Beautiful. And then you can come onto your back. We're going to lie on the back. Now you can either have your hands alongside your hips, palms facing downwards, or if you get niggles in your lower back like I do, you can bring your hands underneath your buttocks to support your lower back. We're going to strongly engage the belly, pulling the belly all the way down to the spine and then pressing the lower back into the mat. And the movement is to open the legs as wide as you can with control and then cross them over the front, open again, cross over the back. And let's go. The breath very naturally wants to move in rhythm with your legs. So you're coming to a kind of breath of fire. Move as quickly as you comfortably can. Remember it's a controlled movement. The legs aren't flailing recklessly around. We're controlling out and back, out and back. Beautiful. Belly strong, lower back pressed into the floor. Beautiful. Remember with this beautiful strong breath, we're bringing ourselves into alpha states. It's a state of awareness, consciousness. It's the problem solving state of alertness. Make sure your belly is strong and your lower back is protected. Keep going. Keep the control. Even as the legs begin to tire, don't allow them to flail. Make sure they remain beautifully in control. That's it. to center both feet pointing up take your palms fingertips facing upwards palms facing each other now take a long deep inhalation squeeze more bund lift the pelvic floor lift the anal muscles hold the breath in squeeze more bund and circulate the energy feel the pulsation of energy moving through your body Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Rock gently side to side. And then come down to Shavasana. Feet mat distance apart, palms up, eyes closed. Soften and relax. Slow your breathing down. Feel what you're feeling. Completely present. So much awareness and deeply relaxed. Remaining on your back. And bring your legs together. Again, your hands either alongside your body or underneath your buttocks. 
and we're going to do single leg raises now. So we're going to take both legs up to center and this is going to be our starting point. And we're going to switch legs. So we're not waiting for it to come up and down, we're crossing over. This is again really strong in the lower back, so make sure that your belly is strong, the lower back is pressed down and supported. And let's go. Notice again what your breath wants to do. Get into a rhythm with your movement. And the purpose of not prescribing a breath and inviting your own rhythm is that you can connect with your body so that the breath isn't automatic. It's so that the breath becomes natural. A conscious, natural breath. As we learn to identify and keep in contact with our bodies, we really start to have a different experience of life. We miss out on so much when we're disconnected from the body. The body is sending us messages and signals all day long, but for the most part, we miss them. And so we have to practice reconnecting to the body. Beautiful, keep going. <laughs> if you need to rest, rest at the top, not the bottom. Beautiful. And feel that energy now flowing through your legs. Make sure the belly is strongly engaged. Doing really, really well. We're nearly there. We're of course working strongly into Manipura Chakra. That is your willpower, your personal power, your ability to follow through, to manifest. The gut is constantly sending us messages. So feel into that space now, connect with that space now. And come back up to center, palms face each other, fingertips point upwards, take a long deep inhalation. Squeeze more bond, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles and feel that flood of prana. Hold the breath. Connect to those subtle, refined energies within the stillness. Take more breath in, hold it. And exhale, releasing down, come to Shavasana. Feet on that distance apart. Palms are facing up and eyes are closed. Feel what you're feeling. So beautifully present and aware in your body. Beautiful. Remaining on your back, we're going to come into stretch pose. So stretch pose, of course, full expression of the posture is palms facing downwards, slightly above the thighs. Head and neck off the mat, looking down towards your toes. Belly strong, lower back pressed down, and then lift the feet off, looking down towards the toes with breath of fire. Of course, if like me, you have a sensitive lower back, hands underneath the buttocks to support you, looking up and down towards the toes and holding there with breath of fire. And let's begin. <clears throat> Gazing towards your toes, keep your breath of fire strong and make sure there's movement in your belly. Sometimes we think we're doing breath of fire, but we're just breathing very lightly from the upper chest in and out of the nose. So make sure you can feel that movement in your belly as you gaze down towards your toes. Of course, remember, 
We don't do breath of fire if we're pregnant or menstruating. Just 15 more seconds to go. Nice and strong. <laughs> and release. Feet mat distance apart. Palms face up and eyes closed. Wow, feel the energy around your body. Feel that beautiful shift. There's so much heat in the body right now. Feel that heat. Invite it with love and gratitude. Breathe into it. Put attention into the luminous connections between the centers of the body, where the mind loves to dissolve. Base of the spine and top of the head, genitals and heart, heart and throat, throat and forehead, forehead and crown of the skull. Enter that glowing net of light with a focus born of all. And even your bones will know enlightenment. Beautiful verse 27 again from the Radiant Sutras. The centers of the body where the mind loves to dissolve causes a move through the chakras. Beautiful. Remaining on your back now. The next exercise, we're going to have palms facing downwards. Inhale, smack the floor behind your head on the top of your hands and exhale, hit the floor really hard. And we're just going to do that once and then we're going to keep the hands here and we're going to hit the floor very powerfully with the arms. Now it's important that we do this quite vigorously because we're working on the meridians and the hands and the arms. So lying down and let's begin. Arms up and bang. And this should be quite a strong, powerful movement. You're going to feel the vibration in your body with all of these beautiful meridians in the hands, the fingers. Make sure you can feel the fingers touching all the way down. Beautiful. It may feel a little bit uncomfortable or a little bit tender. But just know that any discomfort or tenderness is working on something that's calling out to you to feel you right now. So unless it's extremely painful, just work through the discomfort and the tenderness. The breath, of course, wants to naturally exhale as you hit the floor with your, your arms and your hands. And then the inhale as you raise up, it just feels very natural. So it's not a prescribed breath, and if another breath feels natural for you, that's what you need to follow now. Last few seconds, go a little bit faster, a little bit harder, feel what needs to be processed. And release. Come to Shavasana. Feet mat distance apart, palms up, eyes closed. 
feel that beautiful movement in the stillness from the fingertips to the elbows. There should be a lovely awareness there now. And take a long, deep inhalation. Squeeze more bend, lift the pelvic floor, lift the anal muscles, circulate the energy. Take more breath in. And exhale. Feel the divinity within you. Wear your body with reverence, deep love and gratitude. And then hug your knees to your chest. <clears throat> Rock gently side to side, and then rock all the way up and over, coming to staff pose. Spine nice and straight, a beautiful 90 degree angle. Legs out straight and legs active. Beautiful. So we're going to do a, um, a closed fist, thumbs on the outside, but the fists are loose and the wrists are really loose. And we're going to pound the body with these loose wrists. And just again, allow your body to lead you. Let your body take you exactly where it needs to be. You may find that you end up spending a lot of time in one place and you feel like you should get to the whole body, but rather don't, rather trust where your body's taking you. And let's go. Tenderness in the body may be a message that you need to spend a little bit of gentle time in any tender spots. Obviously, if it's painful, you don't want to spend time there. But if you've got a bit of tenderness, maybe ask your body, is there something here that I need to process? Should I spend a little more time here? And when we first start talking to our bodies in this way, getting into conversation with the body, it can feel a little bit strange. We may feel like, oh gosh, maybe it's time for that straight jacket after all. But actually engaging in conversation with your body will really become one of the most powerful tools we have for connecting with your body. And see what's needed, where it's needed. Trust your body. It always knows exactly what it needs. But of course, most of us don't know how to hear the body. So listen, we wait for it to shout. I know I certainly did. That's how I, I've ended up in the position of having to take a month off now. My body has been gently whispering for quite some time. And it needed to shout before I finally listened. Beautiful. Listen to those gentle whispers. So we don't need to hear the shouting. Beautiful. Keep going. See where you need it. And now I'm going to continue, but with a very beautiful massage, a very intimate massage. Feel what your body needs. Notice what pressure it needs. Do you need a gentle feather-like touch? Or do you need a hard, firm massage? Check in with your body and see what you need. And it may be that different parts of your body need different kinds of attention. So present. So divinely connected. Honor exactly what your body needs.
you need to, changing the pressure, maybe spending a little more time in one area. Maybe you feel the need to keep moving. Feel this beautiful, beautiful connection to what your body needs. And come back up to center. Take a long, deep inhalation. Squeeze more bund. Lift the pelvic floor. Lift the anal muscles. Hold your breath in. And visualize the breath as that beautiful healing white light. Allow the breath to circulate to every single cell in your body. Take more breath in, lift, squeeze, hold it. And exhale. And just be here. Feel what you're feeling. I want you to grab the inside of your feet. So bringing your hands inside your legs. And the movement is to rock all the way back and all the way up, holding the inside of your feet. And let's go. And as you do this movement, I want you to feel really, really connected to your spine. Feel each and every vertebrae as it rolls along the mat. Feel deeply connected to the energy moving along your spine. Beautiful. and rocking all the way up and coming to Sukhasana, to easy pose. Bring your hand into Gyan Mudra, resting on your knees. And we're just going to close the eyes. Roll the eyes gently inwards and upwards towards the center of the forehead. And we're going to follow the breath. Inhaling for the count of three. Exhaling for the count of six. Let your breath connect you to the sacredness of the temple of your body. This temple that houses your spirit, your soul, the essence of your being. The sacred garment is a divine gift. 
such a privilege to have this human experience. May we honor every moment within this temple. Staying connected to your breath. Put attention into the luminous connections between the centers of the body where the mind loves to dissolve. And take your awareness and hold it both at the base of your spine and the top of your head. Shift your attention to your genitals and your heart and breathe into those spaces. Remain at your heart and move to your throat. And hold the throat as you move to the forehead. And hold the forehead and move up to the crown. And allow yourself to enter this glowing net of light. With a focus born of all. So that even your bones will know enlightenment. And when you're ready, lying down on your back in Shavasana or any other comfortable relaxation posture, perhaps covering yourself with a blanket and simply giving yourself permission to be absolutely as comfortable as you can be. Knowing that it is here in the space of deep relaxation that we heal. I relax. My feet. I relax. My feet. My feet. I relax. I relax my calves and thighs. I relax my calves and thighs. my calves and thighs. Relax. And 
and relax. Hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest. I relax, hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest. Hips and buttocks, abdomen and chest. Relax. And I relax. Face. Eyes. Nose. Mouth and time. My face, eyes, nose, mouth and time. Relax. My entire body is completely relaxed, filled with peace. And I'm so deeply and beautifully connected to the sacred garment housing my divine soul. filled with awe and wonder from the miracle of this human experience. And there is peace within peace around peace in all the world, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. You can start to bring your awareness to the rise and fall of your chest. Very gently rubbing your thumb across your fingertips, moving your toes. And you can take your arms above your head, have a beautiful stretch. Hugging your knees to your chest. You can drop your knees to the right and look over your left shoulder. And change sides. Come back to center. Rub the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands together. <coughs> and when you're ready, rock them up and coming to Sukhasana to easy pose. May the long time sun shine upon us, all love surround us, and the pure light within guide our way on. Satnam 
Wishing you a beautiful, beautiful day.